What is going on guys and girls? My name is James Orthoxy and welcome back today to Stardew Valley. How are we doing everyone? Welcome back, welcome back. Today, hopefully it's going to be a pretty good one because we are on Saturday the 27th of summer and we are so close to our second year full season. So as you may be able to see, the background in our house is different. Oh my goodness, I finally did it. I was like, you know what? I'm fed up of living in this brown box. Let's actually do something to make our house look a little bit more fancy. So because we do have a nice amount of money at the moment, I went to Pierre's and I dropped a massive 30k on this bad boy here. This um, furniture catalogue? No, no, no. This is the decorating catalogue. So once you spend 30,000 in order to get it, you have access to a ton of these different wallpapers. And I think we'll change it up every now and again, but I just went with the stars because I thought it looked really cool. Um, but yeah, check this one out, actually. This one's really awesome. This one's like Minecraft. I'm gonna check this out. So I'll just change this wall to show you. Look at that! Isn't that cool? That's definitely Minecraft. Like, that has to be like a little Minecraft Easter egg one. Um, but yeah. So there's loads of different ones to pick from. And as well as that, you also have different flooring. And all of these are now free because I spent 30 thou in order to get these bad boys. Ooh. 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 <laughs> okay. Actually, I quite like the, the miney thing and the, the floory thing. That's actually pretty awesome. So we can kind of change it up. We can do whatever we want with it, really. But um, for now, anyway, let's just stick this like that. Come on. Come on. Yeah. Oh, my goodness. I actually really like this a lot. So hopefully, if we've got like 100k spare at some point, we can do exactly the same thing with the furniture catalog and we can kind of customize our house. Of course, we do still need to actually upgrade our house as well, uh, which is one of the things that we need to do. So, uh, it's really, really close to the end of the season. Oh, actually, hang on. How is my... <gasps> oh, my beats are ready. Oh, snap runes. Okay, for some reason, the harvest with scythe doesn't actually work in the greenhouse. Really strange. I have no idea why. Okay, that's awesome. Oh, wait. Oh, wait a second here. Do you remember when we were doing the Q... Well, we're, we're doing these beats for the QI quest? It says to put 10 beets in um, Lewis's fridge. But does it matter what quality the beets are? Because we've got seven gold, two silver, one regular. Huh. See, I was wondering maybe it would have to be a stack of 10. Oh, I hope not. That means we're going to have to grow some more beets. No! I guess there's one way to find out, isn't there? Oh, hang on. Wait a second. Wait a second. Let me just grab some of these hops. Aha! So we got another batch of our pale ale, uh, which is awesome. So what I did is I made a few changes, as you may be able to see, to the little farm area. Because we've been using, like, because of the, the layout of our farm, uh, with our, like, you know, weird layout that we've got here with the, the mining farm, uh, you've got kind of like a few of these sort of small islands, and they sort of act as little areas that you can do stuff. Uh, but I was thinking, well, because we've got so many animals... And they're quite big animals, you know, pigs and, and cows and, and sheeps and all that stuff. I was thinking, well, maybe they could have a little bit more space. So just as we stock up on these barrels, I missed a barrel, there we go. Um, oh yeah, so I've got two more days, well, one more day of harvesting hops after this, and then I hopefully don't ever have to harvest a hop again. <laughs> Oh, I've gone hop crazy. Um, but yeah, look at this. So I kind of thought, well, why don't we just do normal fence gates here? So we don't even have to have those really ugly fences. And, you know, the fences fall down and they're super annoying. So, oh yeah, loads of people have given me this tip to put a lightning rod down by some grass. And hopefully it will allow it to spread without them actually eating it all. So that's exactly what I've done. And I also went and made a silo. So this thing is, I haven't actually put anything in it. Actually, hang on, there we go. Oop, there we go. Added 38 pieces of hay into the silo. So we do need to keep this guy topped up a little bit, but it means we can get the auto feeders going in uh, the barn, and we also still need to do the coop upgrade. So I think that's next on the list. Oh, yeah, I'm getting a little bit sloppier with the, the hops over time. If I miss, like, a couple of them, that's not the end of the world. Like, we've got so many now. Uh, and we've got a load of star fruit growing also, so, uh, yeah, I, I sometimes miss a couple of them, but it's okay. Um... Having said that, though, I, I do want to get these guys. So here we go, here we go, here we go. Whoa! Nice. If we go and check out my hop hall, which is what I'm calling it, we have... Look at this, look at this, look at this. Oh, so many hops, man. Amazing. Okay, so let's go and test this theory out. I'm really hoping that we don't have to go and grow more hops because 
That's going to slow down our QI quest a little bit, which is going to be a bit of a shame. Hopefully it will be 10 in total, and it doesn't matter what consistency they are or what, what star rating they are. So let's go down to Lewis. Hopefully we should have enough friendship with him. Actually, I don't think his kitchen is behind a locked door, is it? Uh, let's go and find out. So Lewis is down here. Let's go in here. Boom. Okay, and here's his fridge. Oh, yes, yes, it worked. Yes. You quickly place the beets in the fridge. Wait a sec. There's a note taped to the milk. It's addressed to you. Oh, this is QI. We don't know what he sounds like, so it's inquisitive. Good job, kid. Your final task. Give the sand dragon his last meal. Mr. QI. Oh, I remember this. I Someone told me about it. It's, it's, um... It's the, it's the sand dragon in the desert. Like the... Oh, but what does he eat? It's, um... Do, 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 it's, um... Uh, no, it's not the void. It's the other one. It's not the void essence. It's the solar essence, I think. I think. Um, so I tell you what, let's try that. Uh, I don't want that quest. Um, I think it's solar essence that we give the sand dragon in the desert. So you know what? Let's let's do the QI quest today. I'm so glad that we could have the different quality beats. I was a little bit worried there for a second, but it's okay. We're all good. Um, so I tell you what. Do we have any solar essence? We should. We should have some solar essence. Uh, yes, we do. Oh, no, that's slime. Okay, boom. Uh, all right, so let's go over here. Oh, I'll tell you what, let's go and sell our beers. We've got 39. I need to make a couple more kegs as well. I keep delaying that. I need to do some smelting. Oh! Oh, just before, ooh, just before we go to the desert, because we've got time, I was also a little bit busy as well, because... Dun-dun-dun, 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 dun-dun-dun. Da -da 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 -da. Woohoo! I upgraded my pickaxe as well! Yeah! I thought it was just a good time to do it because, you know, there's not very much we can do. I smelted a load of iron bars as well. Technically, we could start upgrading. Should we just upgrade our hoe? Uh, yeah, we'll do a 15k upgrade for that, so it'll only be a day. We might as well. It's not necessarily something that we use that often, but it would be cool to get those slowly upgraded. Okay! So I think we're going to go and do QI's quest. So let's go and buy a ticket for 500. And off we go to the desert. I could do with some more cactus fruit, I think. Oh, there's one there. Awesome. The items are really, really good. So the, the coconuts and the cactus fruit, really good for quite a few NPCs. And uh, yeah, it just makes like a gift item much easier. Uh, so the sand dragon thing is, is down at the bottom. I still need to bring a prismatic shard here. I didn't have a single prismatic shard, so maybe we go down to the skull cavern and check it out, see if we can get one. Because that'd be really cool to get that crazy cool sword. Uh, I, I think last time, in like series one of this, I swear we got a couple of prismatic shards, like pretty quickly as well. Uh, all right, so let me see what she's got for sale. Uh, oh, quality retaining soil beat stuff. Nah, nah, mate, nah. All right, let's go and do this. So I think the dragon is here. So if I remember correctly, you have to feed it in its mouth. Yes! You place the essence in the dragon's maw. Only then do you notice a hidden note in the eye socket. You've proven yourself, kid. Check the pile of lumber next to your house. Mr. QI. Hmm. Mr. QI, Stephen Fry himself, has given us something in our wood pile. Do we have a wood pile? actually have no idea, to be honest with you. This is the first time I've ever successfully completed this quest. I don't think we got around to doing it last time. Um, yeah. I don't know. Parsley is wondering where you've been. Oh, I'm sorry, Parsley. Uh, Alright, so let me... I always forget to harvest the trees. I know I'm terrible. I've just got so much stuff, like, going on right now on the farm and oh, all that. Oh, no, no. Don't eat the sweet pea. No, stop eating the sweet peas, James. Forage. Forage. Nice. Okay. Is there a... What wood pile is this? I've never noticed a wood pile. Am I going mad? Wood pile. Oh! The wood pile on the side of our house. Oh, we got it! Yeah! Under a piece of wood, you found a club card. You're not what sure it's for, but it seems important. It's been added to your wallet. Yes! That's the club card for the Calico Desert um Casino, right? Oh! Can we go back really quickly before Pam leaves? Pam, don't you dare leave. Don't you dare leave. Pam, 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 Pam. Bye. Yes, we just got it in time. Okay, so we can get into the casino. I've never been in the casino. Oh, how exciting. 
<laughs> okay. Um, yeah, I, I, I don't know what the casino is. Well, we successfully completed the QI quest. Awesome. That's really cool. I'm excited. I've never been in the casino, so let's give this a go. Um, so now we can go past this dude, this, like, bouncer. Here we go. Is that a club card? Yes! Woo! You may enter! Yeah! Wow! This place is so cool! O-M-G's. Look at the big bear. What does the big bear do? Oh, wow! Items crafted zero? I don't think so. I've crafted loads. I don't know. Well, this is really cool. Look at that. So this is how many steps I've done. I've given 143 gifts. Monsters slain, fish caught, seeds sown, shipped items, 5,000. Oh, that's awesome. Why does it say I've only crafted three items? No, zero items. That's really weird. I want to play Coleco Jack. This is a 100 coin table. Play. The bet's fixed at 100 coins. You don't have enough. Oh! Buy QI coins. No way. Buy 100 QI coins for 1,000 gold. Yes. I'm scared. I'm scared. What am I doing? Oh, God. Oh, God. I, I, wait. Is it blackjack? 16. Uh, hit. Yes, 17. Stand. 13. 20. Oh, come on! <laughs> This is why you don't play back blackjack in uh, in here. I've lost all my coins. No! Who are these people, man? Oh, it's Mr. QI himself. It's good to finally meet you, kid. Welcome to the exclusive clubhouse. Who are these people? Woman. <laughs> After completing a crazy quest, I was finally allowed entry to this club. I haven't left the place ever since. Oh, jeez. I can see myself spending money here. Oh! <gasps> I have the Statue of Endless Fortune for on sale. Only a million gold? I cannot afford that. Who are you? Man. Hey, can't you see I'm busy here? I'm on a roll. Oh. Okay, I need some more coins. Hang on, hang on. This is really, this is really mad. I've never seen this place before, so excuse me if I'm quite excited. Um. So this is, this is, um. so the other one is Blackjack. This one is, I don't know, bet 10. Nautilus sh uh, shell. Oh, come on. Bet 10. Starfruit. Oh, come on. <laughs> come on, let's get that. Let's get that. Let's get that big win. Come on, we can do this. Fish. Starfruit. Milk. That's no good. How do I... Can I stop them individually? No. It's just completely random, isn't it? I feel like... I feel like the system is rigged against me here. I can see us not winning. Milk. Oh, jeez. Come on. Should I have bet 100? Maybe I had a better chance of winning if I bet 100. Starfruit. Fish. Fish. Ah, all right, one more bet. Milk. Parsnip. Nautilus shell. Okay, well, that was rubbish. Uh, and I've just wasted more money. Fantastic. Okay, well, just buy, buy another 100. <laughs> I want to see what everyone does in here, because why not, right? Oh! Cool. Hardwood fence. The most durable type of fence. Oh, is it a fence that never... <gasps> Look at that rare crow. So that's 10,000... Oh, jeez. Things here are expensive, man. So I just bought 100 coins for 1,000. So 500 coins would be 5,000. So 5,000 gold for a warp totem. 10,000 for a magnet. Burnt offering. Primal motion. I mean, that rare crow is amazing, so we probably have to save up. Unless we can win a load of money, like, gambling it. It's just such a stupid thing to say. I'm not going to win. It's a thousand coin table! <gasps> oh, who are you? Talk to me. Talk to me. Talk to me, dude. Wellwick! It's not my lucky day. Oh, I've drank too much. <laughs> I thought he was, like, doing some creepy stuff, but I think he's trying to be sick at it. <laughs> okay. You know what? I'm feeling, I'm feeling mad here today. I'm going to buy a thousand coins. And we're going to use that table, because why not? So there's 200, 300. Here we go, lads. This is the moment, the big moment. We've got 1,000 coins. I don't even know what this is, but we're going to do it. Oh, no, it's Blackjack again. 15. Hit. 20. Stand. Yes. Come on, dealer. Go bust. Go bust. Go bust. Go bust. 17. 22. He's gone bust. Woohoo! Wait. Dealer wins. Result. 1,000. Okay. Oh, should I double or nothing? 
No, quit, quit, quit. I got 2,000! Yeah! Okay, well, that's, 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 that's good. So technically, if we, like, double or quitted... I'm gonna go again. <laughs> this is a terrible decision. Alright, four. Hit me. Thirteen. Hit me. Eighteen. Stand. Go bust. Go bust. No! It's... I just lost what I won. Why? Yep, I lost the other thousand as well. <laughs> It's true. It's true what they say. I don't gamble in real life. And I'm thinking about maybe not gambling in Stardew Valley either. Because I'm obviously terrible at it. Oh, are you kidding? So we did the QI quest. And now we've left the desert about 15,000 lighter. Ah. See? This is the thing. If you gamble, it doesn't pay off. Dangerous. Dangerous thing. Unbelievable. Unbelievable scenes. Ah. Oh, well, never mind, eh? <laughs> so, um, I guess we did a thing and it worked, kind of. Well, we did the quest, that's a plus. On the negative, we did lose a ton of money, but hey, that's really cool. At least we've done the QI quest. That's another thing that I really wanted to do in this Let's Play, so I'm super happy about that. Um, and we sold some beers as well. So today is the final day of summer. To be honest, the only thing we've got in here is the Dance of the Moonlight Jellies, and we've already seen that, like, once before. It's not really the most exciting event. So, um, oh. What's this say? Okay, yeah, yeah. It's, it's, it's just, just it's, it's a bit boring, to be honest. We've done it already, um, so nothing special there. I'll tell you what, one more day. We're just going to harvest some stuff. Um, and yeah, we're going to get through, and then we'll have our first day in fall. So I do want to do a bit of a farm redesign for fall. Um, so yeah, I'm going to spend like maybe like a day or so just getting the farm looking a bit prettier. So we're not going to plant a load of seeds on day one. Uh, just because I want to try out a few new things. I want to try and get the farm looking a little bit prettier. So, yeah, we'll see. We'll see. But anyway, let me get through this day. Let me uh, let me just do some hops. Uh, have we done presents for everyone? Oh, we can do some presents, actually. Yeah, maybe we'll do that later. Okie dokies, here goes nothing. So I just went and handed out a few presents to whoever sort of came across me. And yeah, here we go. Day one of fall, year two. Uh, let's go and have a little look at our farm. So, um, yeah, as I kind of mentioned... I kind of want to do a bit of a redesign. Like, I want to get rid of these little low-level things and sort of, you know, do something different um, because it's super ugly. I mean, it does a really good job, don't get me wrong, but it is pretty ugly. Uh, look at this, all of our hops. They dead. Everything dead. We've got loads of beer here, which is awesome. Everything, it dead, man. It's so dead. This is going to be a really good area for, um, like, pumpkins or something. We might... Mm, it's a bit difficult because it's, it's actually really, really big. We might move it down a little bit and maybe change things around so yeah what i'm thinking about doing is um just kind of um spending maybe a day or so just kind of doing some redesign so we won't do any planting or whatever but we'll just get like the boring stuff done you know like laying it out and stuff uh and then yeah i think maybe we'll come back next episode and we'll get some cool things planted maybe some pumpkins oh should we try and grow some giant pumpkins that might be fun uh, and yeah let's see what happens so we're gonna get married as well in four we're definitely gonna do that so yeah we'll pick a good day and we'll 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 we'll, uh, we'll stick a ring on it. You know what I mean. So it should be good. But yeah, thank you very much for watching. So if you did enjoy this, please remember to poke me in that like button. And if you are not yet subscribed, go for it because we do Stardew Valley dumb fun. But until next time, thank you once again for watching. It's been such a pleasure. As always, thanks. Ratio.